With Smart Deploy, you can deploy applications, patches, and tasks to remote users over your network or the cloud. And I'm here to show you how it's done. Hi, I'm Jeff, and today we're going to show you how to create a custom application pack using the Smart Deploy Application Pack Wizard so that you can remotely deploy custom configured applications to your end users. To get started, I'll be in the Application and Task workspace and then click this plus symbol and click Create an Application Pack. And what this will do is start the Application Pack Wizard. I'll click Next on the welcome screen and then add my installation files. The first thing to do is to select a folder path. I'm going to D, Applications, and choose 7-Zip. Now 7-Zip is an application that we have available to download through our download menu, but I'll just use it as an example. Once I select my folder, I'm going to choose the executable path. I'm going to click Browse and choose the 7-Zip EXE. Now, any files in the folder I choose in the folder path will be added to the application pack. So if your application doesn't come with just a setup.exe, it has lots of subfolders and other files, those will be added when you choose that folder. We'll click next and then look at the application pack details. The wizard has pulled this information from our setup.exe file. We know the title, the publisher, the type, and it gives it a version for the, the pack as well as the product version of what we're actually installing. You can typically leave all this alone and click Next. Now the installation task is very important. This is what we're going to need to specify to make sure that our application pack installs silently. When we publish or deploy an application pack to a endpoint, it's going to be run as system using the command line we give it. And so it's important to know the command line parameters for your application to make sure that it installs silently because your end user will not see any prompt or if there's an error, it will never be on the desktop and the application will get stuck in the background. So I know that 7-Zip uses front slash capital S and we can see the command line preview using our variable when it's extracted on the endpoint, it's going to run this path to the exe and the command line argument we give it to install silently. I'll click next and we'll go to the installation detection page. We can configure our app packs to install only if an older version is installed or if it's not installed at all. So here we're saying when the application pack goes to install, look for 7-zip and if it's already version 19, we don't need to reinstall. But if it's older or not there, then proceed with installation. It's pretty neat. So we'll click next. Review our summary, everything looks great here. We'll click next once. And now I'm going to open the application pack so I can show you what it looks like. And then we'll click finish. Next, let's give it a name, 7-zip, and I'll follow suit with the SPK version file name and click save. Now it's going to open in the application manager. So we can see, again, the information on the application pack that it was able to pull from the exe. We can look at our task, the run command. It's going to extract and run from our variable on the endpoint with 7-zip files to the exe. We have our argument and the command line preview. And in files, we have the 7-zip folder that we chose and it has our exe. And here's what I was talking about, if uh, your exe, if your setup had a lot of additional files that had to come along with it, you, we would see all of these files listed here. And that's how to use the wizard. So let's say we want to create a more customized application pack. We don't want to use the wizard. We want to add more tasks in one go. What we will do is hit the plus symbol and do create an application pack advanced. And this will take us directly into application manager. Now when we do it this method, the first thing to do is file new, and we gotta save it. I'm going to go to my Smart Deploy Working Directory, Application Packs, and we'll say, we'll call it my script, and we'll give it the version name, and click save. Now, we can give it a title, my script. I'm publishing it, so I'll say Smart Deploy. I'm gonna change the type to script, the pack version, I'm just creating it. We'll give our script version a 1.0. We'll say we just wrote it. And now it's time to add tasks and files. So let's go to right click files and 
we can add individual files or we can add a folder containing more um, more files. We'll click add folder, go D, scripts, and I'm going to select my scripts folder. Now there's the scripts folder and then the three files that I had in that directory. Now while we're here, let's say that we had an existing pack with our scripts, but we want to update, but we've lost the source. It's easy to export a file and kick it out of our application pack so we can change it or share it if we need to. So with our scripts in, it's time to add a task. Now when we right click the tasks menu, we have a lot of options here that we've tried to uh, identify common tasks with people using application pass packs and make it easier on them. So you don't need to worry about creating a, a script just to reboot a computer. You can just add this task and then we'll do it for you. This could be handy if you want to force a reboot after an installation of an application, but you don't necessarily have the ability to script that into the, insta uh, the installation of the app. You can just add this reboot computer task and we'll do it for you. But that's not what we want to do here. I'm going to remove that task and I'm going to add a run command task. Now run command task is exactly what it sounds like. All this is is a single command line that we're going to send to our endpoints and that could be anything. It could run anything you could run on a command line manually you can run here. Now when we're running scripts what we would do is click select and go to one of our scripts like VBS. Click OK. So the application manager detects that we're running a .VBS script and it adds the uh, the parameters to run a script. Because as you know, if you were at a command line, you couldn't just type myscript.vbs and hit enter. You'd have to tell tell Windows how to run your script. And this is the command to do it. Or maybe if we were doing, uh, let's look at uh, PowerShell. It detects the change. Uh, it's going to it's technically going to run PowerShell and then the arguments to run your script as you would do if you were manually running a PowerShell script from a command line. So it's it, we try to make it as easy as possible for you to to run scripts and stuff like that. And of course, you can also always add more than one. So after you run this PowerShell, you want to run your batch script. And what we'll do is we'll first run your PowerShell script and then we'll run your batch script and see the change there. So since we're running scripts, we probably don't need arguments, but if there were some extra parameters that you wanted to run or the script needed an in input, you would put it in the arguments field. Like say we need to, oops, that's not how we spell quiet, is it? We would tell it, the, give it a quiet argument and you can see it's automatically added to our preview here. So now we're ready to save and we're going to get a warning here because on one of these commands, I didn't put an argument. So this isn't necessarily a stopper. We just want to remind you that you may need an argument in your installation because again, we don't want your installation or your scripts to be stuck in the background on the endpoint because they'll just run forever until the system is restarted or the task is killed through task manager. So we know that our scripts don't need, or the one script doesn't need an argument, so we're fine. We can click OK, it gets saved, and we can close the wizard, and we have our application pack, my script, present, and just like with all the others. Now we'd be able to deploy these if we liked. And that's all there is to it. With creating application packs, we got this new wizard, it's really awesome, and hopefully it works just great for you. If you do have any problems or questions, please reach out to support at support at smartdeploy.com or check out our support portal and that's at support.smartdeploy.com and you can submit tickets there as well if you like. As always, thanks for watching.